So you guys keep asking for more crafts. So here we are, we're gonna make some pinwheel sprays today. I saw these for sale the other day in the shops and I think they were like $19. Screenshot, this is what you're gonna need. I like the really soft fluffy Chanel wool and I got some felt sheets. They were like $2 each, hot glue gun, your wire, pliers. First thing you need to do is trace some circles. These are not any set size. They were just the size that I wanted. I just found a couple of round things. That's a hairspray lid. And I just traced as many as I could fit on the page. Now you just cut them out. Once they're all cut out, they're gonna look like this and then you can just arrange them in a little pile, however many bigs and smalls that you want in each spray. I just got some craft wire. I cut them at five different lengths, some a little bit longer, some a little bit shorter. Then to attach, you get your felt round, a little bit of glue right in the middle, attach your um, piece of wire and then just get a cut off and stick it on top of that. That's gonna make sure that the wire stem is secured quite well. Then the next bit, you just get some hot glue gun and you're gonna be sticking that glue on in a circle and basically winding it round and round and round so it looks like a pinwheel. This one I did a double color. Um, it's a little bit finicky when you first get started. The wool is really soft, the glue gets everywhere, but just take your time. It's a lot harder to do it when you're doing it in front of a camera and actually sat somewhere else and finish them all off. And then you can do single um, wool colors. You can do three wool colors. So however creative you wanna get, but just wind and wind and wind till it's all covered. As you get further along, you can see it really starts to come together and starts to look really cute. So once it's all done, it's gonna look something like this. And then the next bit will be to cover the wire stems. So just get a little bit of glue on the back, stick some wool down and just wind it down the entire uh, metal pick. I put little dobs of glue at little intervals just to hold it still so it doesn't unravel. Once they're done, here's the bunch. You can connect them however you like. Um, you can use a ribbon, you can use some tie, um, you can use whatever, basically. I just put some more um, wire around it, then I covered it with wool. You can leave them as is. They're really cute, just that pale sorbet type colour. However, it's Christmas time and so extra bling as much as possible is pretty much mandatory at this stage. I just covered the glue on the white bit and then put this white iridescent um, glitter on top. And as you can see, it looks really cute. These ones took me a couple of hours. They're a little bit finicky. They take longer than um, the other craft that I've done, but here they are in the tree. And if you're doing a Candyland or gingerbread tree, they look amazing. So 